To this point in the season, the Miami Dolphins have had their fair share of injuries. Miami has lost W.R. Preston Williams, D.T. Davon Godshow to injured reserve, and while both are angling for a return to action, neither feels like a certainty to make a push. But while the Dolphins have those two officially on the back burner, there are a growing number of Dolphins elsewhere on the roster dealing with significant bumps and bruises. That's to be expected, considering football is a contact sport. But it is still a developing storyline to watch. The following Dolphins players did not participate in Thursday's practice. RB Salvin Ahmed, shoulder. Og Eric Flowers, ankle. LB Alandon Roberts, chest. OLB Kyle Van Noy, hip. RB Matt Breida, reserve COVID-19. DB Jamal Perry, reserve COVID-19. And while the Dolphins will be certainly eyeing the progress of those talents, they'll also be hopeful for improved situations for their limited participants as well. The follow Dolphins were listed as limited for Thursday's practice, SAF Kevin Frazier, shoulder, ankle. RB Miles Gaskin, knee. WR Jakeem Grant, back. CB Xavier Howard, shoulder. Og Solomon Kinley, foot. WR Malcolm Perry, chest. Tay Adam Shaheen, foot. QB Tua Tungavailoa, thumb. LB Andrew Van Ginkle, wrist, ankle. RB DeAndre Washington, hamstring. Needless to say, Miami has a lot of, walking wounded, around the facility this week. But the good news for these injured Dolphins is many of the more severe injuries were pre-existing ones from prior to the Bengals game, and players such as Tungavailoa, Gaskin and Van Noy played the full contest against Cincinnati with their current injuries in existence. The big questions for this weekend will be the availability of the interior offensive linemen, Flowers and Kinley, and which running backs will be at Miami's disposal as the team looks to mount an offensive attack capable of upsetting the Kansas City Chiefs.